There are now more than 15 million cases of coronavirus worldwide, with more than a quarter of them in the United States. Today, three more states announced mandatory face covering requirements, and California overtook New York for the most infections. CBS 4's Chris Martinez has the latest on what's happening from Florida to California. Florida added nearly 10,000 new coronavirus infections today, bringing its total since March 1st to nearly 380,000. In Texas, the surge of confirmed cases in some of the state's largest cities appears to be leveling off, but that's not the case in certain counties along the Mexican border. One funeral director in Hidalgo County says before the pandemic, he used to hold six to 10 funerals a month. Now he has at least 10 a week. It's a lot more than what traditionally we're used to handling. But at the same time, we're not going to allow any pandemic to interfere with what we do as a job, and that is to help families. The county has brought in refrigerated trucks to help store bodies. California has now surpassed New York with the most coronavirus cases at just over 413,000, but still has only a quarter of the deaths that New York State has. A sober reminder uh, of why we are taking uh, things as seriously as we are, a sober reminder uh, of why we put in that mask mandate. Here in Los Angeles County, some cities are now giving fines to people who refuse to comply. You you would think that we have common sense, but we do not. And unfortunately, as the numbers rise, it shows that we need to be controlled some way or another. North of San Francisco, Marin County is also finding those who refuse to wear face coverings. It also has a hotline where people can report businesses for failing to enforce the state's mandatory mask rule. And today, Minnesota, Indiana, and Ohio became the latest states to announce mandatory mask requirements. Chris Martinez, CB CBS News, Los Angeles. Well, today, Lowe's Home Improvement Store said it would not ask associates to put their safety at risk by confronting customers about wearing a mask.